First I'll need to prepare a platform here. It's too far this way now. There's a bit of an overhang here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Bring the platform to around here, so I can try and take off all that. Can take a smaller one here, try and straighten out this ridge, bring it this way, so it's in line with all that. And try and freehand this one, see what happens. to try and get rid of this little projection first. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. better. Try and take one from here now. Maybe just use this stone again. Doesn't need to be too big yet. I guess that's just what I wanted. Shave off that cortex. We're almost at the good material here.
gede-gede it went all the way down to the end overshot almost over face blade Whoops. Held back on my swing at the last second. Didn't get enough into that. See it start to ripple out. Pretty heavily there. Couldn't continue. So I'm going to have to try and fix this area here, which should have been taken off with that last flake. It's really messing with the geometry of the core here, so I'm going to try and come at it from this angle. See what happens there. Hold it this way this time. Perfect. So we took off. This is where it starts rippling. So I didn't take off any more than I needed to to fix that. Pretty much fixed the uh, the angle on that side of the core there, that face. And clean it up a little bit more from the bottom here. This is all we've done so far along this face. Keep working around this way. I'm ignoring this for now because it really scares me. I don't have the right kind of platform here to take this crested blade off. We'll have to fix that up a little bit later. I've also got this seam that's running through here, going this way. You can kind of see it come through there. So it doesn't look like it goes too far. But it might cause me some problems. We'll see. <laughs> 